No, you know that the thing about influence, you know, women, you know how we do our thing. You know how we get our husbands to do just about anything. Right. You know how we say you will do, you must do it, but we know how we know our way, don't you? That's leadership by what? By influence. Understand the strength that is inside of you. You want to say the mighty force. There is a mighty force within me. I can't hear you. God says I cannot be quiet in your voice. Now to bring down to pull down mm. because of <laughs> devil. Hallelujah! I said, we when as a woman that knows that when you rise up and you say enough, you rise up and say enough. Then the devil has got to bow. We are not raised in a situation. We just cower down and begin to cry and say, "Happiness." That will stand up and break the curse of their nation. That will speak to nation. Weak, but we are mighty in God. We're mighty in God. And what's the irony? Our strength resides in our weakness. The challenge is in our sensitive nature. Lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord three times that it might depart from me. And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you. For what? It said, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I will rejoice, I will rather glory in my weaknesses, in reproaches, okay, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Hallelujah. Amen. It said, I will therefore take pleasure in infirmities and reproaches and necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong. Hallelujah. The challenges and the things that are coming against you that want to make you give up. Marital problems, or, you know, for some it's marital problems, for some it's not marital problems that is, I want to get married and it's not coming. And for some I'm married and yet I want to get out. Hallelujah. Irony of life. Oh, well, maybe it's, a, maybe it's an issue with no self-esteem or the pressure of life or, you know, nowadays that we, we have the case of many women having to become the breadwinner, the head, the decision maker, the everything, all they want, the things you are not equipped to do, hallelujah, and you find yourself in that and it looks like you're drowning, it looks like you're about to give up, it looks like you're tired of trying to be all of these things together. I want you to know that God will not allow you to be beyond that which you can take. I want you to know that if you're going through things, it's because you can take it. And it's because most of the time our purpose is released. Hallelujah. Our purpose is released in the place of our pain. Our purpose is released in the place of our, of our weaknesses. Our purpose is released in the midst of our challenges. Glory to God. And as you go through whatever you're going through, you go through with grace. Because there's something about the woman. The woman is, is ambidextrous. The woman can do so many things. We're like an octopus. We can do so, we can transform, like transform us into so many things. We're like a vulture force all in one. We can be a mother, we can be a wife, we can be cleaner, cook, driver, teacher, all of these things all in one. Be career people or ministry people or, or business people and, you know, and all this was to fulfill destiny all at the same time. You wonder how God will do that. It's because we're built like that. That's the way we were built. You were built to be strong. You were built to be able to carry so many things. And you will not give up in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not give up in the name of Jesus. Amen. You were built to make it against all odds. You were built to rise up and to shine. You were built an overcomer. You were built more than a conqueror. You were built to rise up and to take your generation. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 verse 28 that there's neither male nor female in the kingdom of God. And I say to myself, the word of God, the, bread, the word of grace has been given to all of us, each and every one of us. That means we can all rise up and fulfill destiny. There is destiny crying out inside of you. Let's stop hiding behind our husbands. Hallelujah. Let's stop hiding. You can be, you can be in submission. At the same time, you will not lose your identity. You will not lose your essence in life. You can still rise up and fulfill your destiny. Your
yet. You don't know who you are yet. You don't know what God has placed inside of you yet. You don't know. Everything you're placed inside. 
Jesus with an open heart. She came to Jesus with everything that she had. It will be unjust for you to walk out of this door with your hurts, with your pains. It will be unjust and for you to walk out of here now a change person, not being empowered afresh. But God is in this place. God is in this place. Let's lift our hands to God. Our God is a
So God comes a new day, a new dawn. Something new is about to begin, a new chapter, a new page of life.